Hi guys, thank you so much for watching my channel. I appreciate you all so much and I just wanted to make a quick announcement before I get into your reading. So I am running a Halloween special until November 7th. Um, when you use the code NIGHTMISTRESS at checkout, you will receive $10 off any reading. So check it out down below in the description box, go to my website and feel free to take advantage of this sale because I will be raising my prices after this. I am extending the date to November 7th. I know it's past Halloween, but I'm gonna be moving to Austin, Texas the week of Halloween, so I will not be conducting Skype sessions that entire week because it's just gonna to be too much with travel and all of that stuff. This is to say thank you so much for all of the support that you guys give me um, and all the love that you guys share with me. I appreciate it so much. I am thankful for the existence of all of you. Let's go ahead and get into your reading. Hi Capricorn, this is your November monthly tarot reading. My name is Hannah, welcome to my channel. And it's such an honor to be a part of your wondrous experience today. So let's go ahead and look into your energy this month, Capricorn. I'll be pulling a general card for this month. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in the month of November. Okay, so you have the Seven of Water. So it seems as though there's something from your past that has arisen, Capricorn, and it is creating a lot of confusion or a lot of uncertainty with something. I feel as though some of you are going to be making a very kind of hard decision in the month of November. Some of you are looking into something, you're researching something. You may be looking at all of your different opportunities. Some of you may have an opportunity that arises and it's from your past. Maybe somebody from your past comes back around in the month of November. Okay, so you have the Two of Wands and the Ace of Swords here, clarifying the Seven of Water. So this is giving me the energy that some of you are in the process of possibly planning for something or like going down some kind of path that you've grown for yourself or that you've manifested for yourself. Some of you are going to be giving a hard talk to someone in the month of November. That's what I'm seeing here. And it's like it's something you've planned out already. Like you may have like mentally prepared for this or whatever. Um, and I think some of you may be a little quite a, a little anxious about it. And amongst this transition in your life, um, because some of you are kind of going through some sort of transition, and I think that's why this seven of water is here. Because I think there's a lot of changes, and I think there is a lot of uncertainty around these changes. So it's like you're making plans amongst all of this uncertainty. Do you know what I mean? Like maybe some of you are getting a new job in a new place and you just don't know where you're going to live yet. You know, you don't have your living situation established or maybe some of you have started a new relationship or something of that nature and you don't really know this person. Like maybe this person is already asking for you to move in with them and you've only known them for like two weeks, you know, it's... It's very uncertain, like there's a situation that has a lot of uncertainty around it, but I think in the month of November, that clarity is gonna be coming through because you have this Ace of Swords here. So some of you, you know, even amongst all of this uncertainty, you're still maintaining that level head, that clear mind to make decisions accordingly. You know, you have this Queen of Fire at the bottom of the deck, so I feel as though there's this sense of confidence and willpower with what you're doing. But let's look into the heart of your reading. All right, so you have the five of water. So there's been some kind of loss here. You're very much in your emotions this month, Capricorn. That's what I'm saying. So just allow yourself to let them flow because I feel some of you may get a little uncomfortable with a lot of these emotions. You know, like you're trying to rationalize something here that's purely emotional. And I think it just creates anxiety. Or you could be dealing with an air sign who is thinking about you and they're very much like very emotionally tied to you. That's what I'm picking up. And, you know, they might be thinking rationally or trying to rationalize this situation when it's purely emotional. Eight 
Interesting. So there may be truth that comes out about some kind of betrayal here in the month of November. Could be in your relationships because I do have a lot of cups here. Um, but it could also be at work. It could be in your home life. You know, somebody here has betrayed someone else. Strong, strong air sign energy. So you could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. You could also be dealing with an Aries. I'm picking up strong Aries energy here. And it's like something that didn't turn out the way that you expected. You know, there was a lot of haziness around this situation. Like you may have not, not had the whole picture is kind of what I'm picking up. And I think Sag had a similar message. And they actually had a couple of cards that are very similar to the cards that I'm picking up or the same cards that I'm picking up in this reading. So maybe there's something for you in Sagittarius' reading, um, or maybe you're dealing with a Sagittarius. But I do pick up where there was something that was not quite right. Like it just wasn't, it wasn't clear. You know, there was something here. I'm hearing instructions were not clear. So somebody could have been giving instructions for something. Maybe there was a boss here um, that was giving you instructions, or maybe you were giving somebody under you instructions and they just didn't listen. Um, and now they've kind of screwed over the project or something like that. But I'm also getting the energy that somebody here maybe was in a relationship and there was something that was off. Like there was something that was kind of hazy or just, it, it was just unclear. You know, there was something here that was not clear in the situation and it's going to be coming out. Things are going to be very clear in the month of November. And for some of you, this is not the clarity that you want with this Five of Cups. So I apologize for this kind of negative message. But this is what I'm seeing, guys. I mean, I don't sugarcoat my readings. You know, one thing that I'm picking up is that somebody may have betrayed you, Capricorn. Somebody may have betrayed your trust. I'm picking up a very strong air sign energy. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Or maybe an Aries. I'm also picking up an Aries. I'm seeing that somebody just dug themselves too deep into something. Someone has dug themselves too deep into something and they're trying to ask for help. That's what I'm picking up. Somebody here may have, you know, kind of done something behind your back or done something kind of secretively. That's kind of what I'm picking up. Like somebody may have done something secretively and then they screw themselves over and then they ask for your help. Does that make sense? Like that's kind of what I'm picking up. It's like now that someone's freaking out, now that somebody's life is possibly crumbling around them or there's just like something that's not working out for them with this five of cups. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. It's like now that somebody here is you know, something is not working out for them, now they want to come to you for help. Now they want to tell you the whole truth with the Ace of Swords. I'm seeing somebody who got themselves in a really sticky situation, Capricorn. You know, they're, they're very much stuck. Like somebody feels like they just, they don't know what their next move is going to be. Somebody here may have lost a job and it was a very high up position. That's what I'm picking up. Especially if you're a Capricorn with fire in your chart, you may have lost a job where you had some kind of influence or some kind of power, some kind of superiority in this situation. And you may have lost that job or someone in your life may have lost a job where they had a lot of power, they had a lot of influence. And they don't even know what their next move is going to be. Somebody's really worried. But this is kind of like a blessing in disguise. Because you have this Ace of Cups here. So this situation is actually meant to happen. Like this is happening for a reason. Like some of you feel really stuck right now. And you, you, know, you feel like you don't really know where you're going to go. Or... You know, you feel like somebody in your life is very stuck and you don't know what's going to happen with them and you're kind of worried about them or something of that nature. I do feel as though there's going to be some kind of opportunity that presents itself in the month of November. 
and you will have clarity. Like if some of you have recently lost a relationship, I feel like this is more of a job for some of you. Like I feel like somebody may have lost a job, but if you've lost anything recently, um, if you've experienced some kind of loss and something didn't turn out the way that you had hoped or the way that you expected, just know it's because you're aligning with something much better. Endings are happening this month and it's so that you can reclaim your power and your individuality. So some of you, spirit is calling you to speak an opportunity into existence. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Don't be afraid to ask for what you want. Do you know what I mean? You know, especially if you're really into prayer or you're into manifestations and stuff like that, I'm seeing it here. You know, use that ability. It's hard not to get caught up in the anxiety and the frustration and the fear of it all. But there is a calling here for you to make a decision with something because you're going to be presented with an opportunity. It's like something is ending here, Capricorn, so that something new can begin. So maybe for some of you, maybe you're ending a relationship where there was a lot of lying, there was a lot of unclear feelings, you know, there was a lot of betrayal. You know, there was a lot of ugly words said to one another. That's one thing I'm picking up big time. And this situation is closing out so that you can start a new relationship where it's more communicative, it's more open, it's more expressive, it's more empowering. But in order for that to happen, this past situation has to be cleared. Do you know what I mean? And if it's a job, for some of you, you know, you may have been in a job where you were given too much work and you weren't get, getting paid enough for it. You know, you weren't, um, you weren't being compensated for what you were putting out. For some of you, you may have had a boss who was like embezzling money or somebody who was like maybe stealing from your savings account or something like that, Capricorn. I don't know. I pick up somebody who may have been stealing money or embezzling money, but this is in the workplace. But yeah, I'm picking up that there was something here. You may have had too much on your hands, did too much, you know, for what you were being paid. So you intentionally, not intentionally, but for some of you, you know, you may have quit this job. But I do pick up for others of you, you may have lost this job. It may not have been something that you um, anticipated on losing. Like, you know what I mean? It, it's not something that you anticipated to end. And it's ending because there is this need for like a revival of something. Like, or a need to start something new here. Like there's an opportunity here, Capricorn, that wants to present itself to you. It does. It's here. It's here in the month of November. But some of you guys just got to make that decision. Don't be afraid. In fact, accept it gracefully and with gratitude. Because I'm hearing like, where's the fine print? You know, like what's the catch? Because some of you may receive some kind of opportunity in the month of November and you may be like, what's the catch? Because naturally you kind of have this like, sense of distrust towards something. For some of you, like if it's a new job, maybe there was a old boss who was not always honest, you know, didn't communicate very effectively, or like I said, somebody may have been stealing from you. So now there's this kind of like general sense of anxiety in this situation. Like you're afraid that this is gonna happen again. So when this new opportunity presents itself, you're like, well, what's the catch? Like, you know, are you a crappy boss or, you know what I mean? Or like, am I going to get stolen from again? It's that kind of energy. And if it's a relationship, maybe you've been cheated on. Maybe you've been betrayed. Maybe you've been lied to, you know, and now you're kind of naturally distrustworthy or distrusting of people who come in. So for some of you, it might be a new person that comes in. They might be offering a new opportunity with you and you might be kind of hesitant. So for your yoga card, we have dolphin. So 
So I'm seeing this need to kind of lighten up. You know what I mean? Because the dolphin, it's as an animal, it's very happy. It's go lucky. You know what I mean? It's just, it's got a lot of energy. Some of you may have been staying in bed lately. You may have lacked energy is kind of what I'm seeing. Like a very lethargic kind of tired energy. Some of you may be in pain is what I'm picking up as well. Like somebody may have had a bunch of surgery, like a lot of surgery. Yeah, somebody may have just recently gone through a lot of surgery. I'm seeing somebody may have lost a limb. Yeah, you might have lost a limb. And now it's just like there's this kind of lethargic energy that I'm picking up from you. It doesn't necessarily be, have to be that you went through surgery, but I do see an energy of somebody who is tired. They lack energy. Um, and I think in the month of November, you're being asked to kind of be a little more optimistic in this situation, because I think some of you Capricorn are pessimistic about this situation. And you're kind of expecting the worst. That's kind of what I'm seeing, like, with the five of water. It's like something here didn't work out the way that you expected. Boo-hoo, life happens, you know what I mean? I'm not trying to downplay what you're going through right now or anything, because I think, in a way, you are just in feeling this way. You know, you have a right to be afraid and be worried, but I just don't think you need to, based on what I'm seeing here in these cards. Um, this is all happening for a reason, you know what I mean? And change happens in life, you know, change is something that is always happening in our lives. And it's just something that we have to kind of adapt through. Because I'm seeing somebody who wants to give up with this Ten of Swords. And if you needed a message not to give up, this is your message to not give up, okay? Because you got this Ace of Swords here saying, get up and continue pressing on. I know things kind of didn't work out in this situation, Capricorn, but I'm telling you, it's all for a higher purpose. Somebody also needs to humble themselves as well. There may be somebody in your life who's kind of on their high horse. They might have a big ego. Um, they might be very disconnected from themselves as well as just like very, very cutting, very like uh, doesn't really care about people. You know, this could be somebody that you were dealing with or somebody who, you know, it could be you, but it could also be somebody you associate with. But I feel though as though there's a need to kind of humble down. Now, in terms of exercise and all of that jazz, I feel like there is a deep, deep stretch in the back that is needed and in the hamstrings. Yeah, somebody's got some really tight hamstrings. You might be a runner. I'm seeing somebody who pole vaults. I don't know, that's very specific, um, but or somebody who's a climber, actually. I see somebody who might be a climber and you may have very tight hamstrings or you just have very tight muscles. Um, but one more time, dolphin. You can look this up on YouTube. Something that you don't know how to do. But that is what I'm seeing here, Capricorn. If you have any questions or if you'd like to book a personal reading, go ahead and click the link down below in the description box. It'll take you to my website and you can book there. And remember guys, I am having that $10 off sale on all of my readings right now until November 7th. It's my Halloween special, but I will be extending it to the 7th of November because I'm gonna be moving the week of Halloween. So I will not be able to conduct readings during that week. But that is all here guys. Thank you so much and have a beautiful rest of your day. Bye-bye.